Yo guys, this is AG4N97 coming back at you with again LA Nor. Here we are going to play Homicide the White Shoe Slang. Let's get it started. Yes, let's just get it started already. Let's do this. Yes. Don't know what to talk about right now. Let's just see what the cutscene has in store for us right now. And then, there you go. And then we'll get back at it. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Amazing. If I'm not mistaken, it's Skipper, still running. Is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many things we Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of that, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Amazing, okay. Now let's go out into this rainy morning. And see what we have in store for us of this over again and make it body. Or is reading I don't want that earlier. California. Is it gonna stop? Come on, Finbar, get into the car. Oh, really? This is not if starting. We survive great. this, it's gonna be a miracle. I blame the rain over all this. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Amazing. Okay, that was an amazing best baseball reference right there. Let's just try to get into point A to point B over here. Uh, hope this girl again is not naked because they know look weird like the other one, which it looks so horribly weird. That guy there will lead us up. I'm the wish guy. How is this guy over here? Oh, uh, we're driving really slow over this. Stealing myself for what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body, Purr. Get used to seeing them. You're the gig when you're working homicide, Phelps. Amazing. Again, I feel like we can go a lot faster. I don't think we're going to run into the crime scene because we're so fast over this thing. Nope, it's not going to happen. We're not going to be like super fast. Oh, boom. Oh, we hit the body. Now the evidence is all messed up. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Seeing secure, the rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. I'm a dead. Thank God you're not a bending man. Temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Oh, thank God you're not naked, guys. That means I don't have to do thing again. Him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. 
I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. This is amazing, guys. That means I don't have to do that ugly thing again. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Oh, you don't say. That was like probably the most easiest thing you could have came up with. Now let's look at B. The footprints. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Find anything interesting? Oh, well, who said that to me? That's five dollars. Five dollars can change the world. But again, she's not naked. Again, it makes everything more the difference. Uh, I know where to go. I know what to do. It's that thing. I don't think she has anything here. Or her unmarried. No one wanted her. Or will it be on the other hand? Nope. Nobody wanted. Oh wait. That's weird. Nobody wanted her. No, for a fact, it's this. I just gotta get it. There you go. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Let's go call. Never mind. Let's not call there. Somebody coming. He ruined it for everybody. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. A uh, suspicious person, since you apparently you've seen everything. You've seen everything, we're gonna, I'm gonna need that in paper. What are you, 55 years old? Witness and Signal Hill resident. Gosh. You must have seen everything. Please do tell me. Do tell me of what had happened here. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Oh, wow. She just blamed the hobo. That's, that's how you gotta do it now. If it's not a hobo, it's a minority, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking too much. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Hobo leader. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Amazing. This girl has helped us with everything she possibly could. Now let's go call operator. If I don't jump over that thing. Phelps, bad thing. So there you go. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, one two six zero West First Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. This is amazing. This is... Can you keep things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up? Sure, detective. We'll stay out of their way. Yes, this, this is another day case right here. The dude's already waiting in the car. Come on, dude. It's barely raining. Suck it up, buttercup. Uh, I think I'll go here. 
This will make the most sense. This will make the most sense. Oh, I want me to go to the hobo camp. Nah, right here. This 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 makes sense to me. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the vid. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? No. That is not an end of conversation. You can't bring up the conversation and then end it. Even though I still think it's the same person. Maybe he, maybe there was a message and it got rained out. Or maybe he knew it was going to rain. So he didn't put a message because then it just looked ugly. Of uh, just the lipstick. The lipstick smearing off the body. But I'm glad he didn't put anything because then that would have mean she must have got naked. And nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Nobody will want to see her see her got naked. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks. You know what I can do? No, that's the wrong one. I can change my outfit. Let's see what else we got here. The outsider. Nope, that's the first one. Let's do Golden Boy. Boom, we look totally different. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Ah, uh, shit, I forgot the number already. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Mm-hmm. What's, what's the number? <laughs> I don't remember the number at all. F1363, F1363. This is why we write stuff down. F1... Oh, somewhere over here. Right here. Mrs. T. Terrellson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Coming to the dude, everybody was here and they all just went away. They all ran away from me. I'm like, we don't need you, David, no more. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. I don't even understand what he meant by that. I feel like that was very... Very inappropriate to say, if I must say so. Mm-hmm. That's the blue house. That's a weird house to be in the middle of all the street. It's a weird house indeed, how it's the middle of a house. Where there's nothing but street. You know, look, look. There's not even a house. Well, they got, like, next-door neighbors. I don't know. It just looks weird to me. Like he got the house. He has the kids right here. I'm just look through the window. I'm looking through that window like a weirdo. Especially at the kids. Oh my god. The kid would have got scared by now. Don't you think? I think they would have. Alright, let's open the door. Stop being little weirdo kids. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. 
She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Oh, Can yes. we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Yeah, some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. That must be like the most messed up thing you can tell your kids, probably. Hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think you filling out a mission for record report actually rules a man as a suspect. Has to be. If you'd excuse me, ladies. The most messed up thing. Maybe if no. You can probably tell your kids. Is that your mom is now dead. She's not coming back no more. Nor will you ever see her again. IDK. <laughs> like, how would that conversation even start? Her handbag? Yes, you you question it, Phelps. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. At least she was spared that particular indignity. <laughs> oh, bless me. No, oh, so that's why she didn't do anything. She didn't have makeup on her. No, no, no. I still feel like 